still in the nation's capital, the federal government plans to spend 47.9 trillion naira as budget for 2025. This was disclosed by the Minister of Budget and National Planning at the end of this week's Federal Executive Council meeting, chaired by President Bola Tunubu. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. I'll bring you that report um, subsequently uh, in the course of the bulletin. Well, let's turn our attention now to security. It came as a surprise for many, but the Lakurawa Armed Group is not new to Nigeria. The federal government, through the Office of the National Security Advisor, says actions are being taken to curb the menace of the Lakurawa extremist group in Nigeria. Stephen Essien reports. Troops of the Nigerian Armed Forces are now combating an additional threat to national security. The Lakurawa group came into prominence barely a week ago following the military's announcement of the group's existence. But reports have indicated the group has been in the country since 2018. A new wave of threats by the Lakurawa Sa has emerged. Although they are not new, they have, they have been around for quite some time, but it is being made as if it's something new. Coordinated land and aerial strikes have forced fleeing members of the group to migrate across states in the northwest, heading as far as the north central. Concrete steps based on informed decisions have been taken to completely contain the activities of these groups in Sokoto State and Nigeria at large. Like all terrorist groups, they aim to spread fear and undermine the efforts of government. But I am confident that with the commitment of our armed forces, security agencies, and united community, we will stand resilient and overcome them in no distant time. We are implementing heightened security protocols in high-risk areas and advanced technology to monitor, gather, and analyze intelligence. Research has shown that the militant group was initially formed in Niger in 1997 to protect Fulani communities, but it evolved into a prominent and increasingly radicalized armed group in 2012 when the faction aligned with Al-Anzar al-Sharia advocating for a Sharia state in Mali's Azawad region. Sifon Essien, TVC News, Abuja.